The audio in RuneScape 3 marks a very exciting transition for RuneScape's music. The orchestral recently featured in Behind the Scenes is hugely exciting, but it's just the tip of the iceberg, as Mod Lord explains. We're making huge leaps forward in all aspects of sound for RuneScape 3. From writing and reimagining more than six hours of music, right up to the leading edge tech we're using to deliver that music. The orchestral score with James Hannigan is huge of course, and it's perfect for those enormous set pieces in and out of the game. But there's a lot of variation in RuneScape and the game's sound and music has to reflect that. It has to convey the right emotions at the right time and create an immersive atmosphere, no matter what you're doing or where you're doing it within RuneScape. The musical soundtrack is a big part of the overall soundscape and with RuneScape 3 we've reached a lot further than before. We've discovered and worked with a real variety of musicians who play a mixture of modern and traditional instruments. The music we're recording will be used for everything from in-game menus to incidental music to some pieces that should pull up a few heartstrings. Yeah, Mo's Gold Teeth were a really good find. They're a local band who just seemed to nail the vibe that I was looking for. Steve contacted me after a gig we played in a local pub um, called the Portland Arms. He said he was looking for people to put together the, uh, the music for the, for the new game. But I'd heard of, of RuneScape when uh, Steve uh, approached me. So yeah, when we when we find out just the, you know the scale of this thing, how there's millions of people playing it uh, online, that's very very exciting to think that you know even if it's only five minutes of our music, you know if uh, if that gets exposed to that many people, that's, that's fantastic. The music we play has has been described by others as sort of. Uh, prog folk in a way, um, and it draws on quite a lot of tra traditional folk influences, Irish traditional folk, English, Welsh, um, just British Irish folk music really, but uh, initially we sort of played a few things that we'd put together ourselves, just some riffs that were in keeping with uh, some, of the, some of the stuff uh, Steve had sent us, uh, the old MIDI tracks for the games. We ran through a couple of versions of the RuneScape theme, theme tune as well, which is obviously, obviously something that fans will be familiar with. Over the last year or so, we've been adding a lot more voice acting to RuneScape's content. With the Six Age comes a whole raft of new story-driven content. We're putting a lot of focus on believable performances that add to the stories being told. Are you with us or against us? Don't waste my time. Decide. It's important to get the right voice for each character because the voice brings that character to life, it engages the player. Yeah. There are so many different characters in the world and you want to have a, a complete orchestra of, of voices and contrasts. Look at them. Zealots. Idiots. The crater is unstable! Beware! The, 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 the writers of Jagex have a very clear vision. Um, of what they want with the characters and we work very closely with them to bring that vision to life. Doric runs his blacksmith shop north of Falador. So with it, with it. Before long there's... <laughs> that was really painful. Ambient sound effects is another area of the game that we're busy reworking. Again, it's something that players have seen a lot more of in recent months. I think Al Kareed is a really good example of that. And with the way that RS3 is shaping up, it's never been more important to make the everyday sounds of RuneScape more convincing than ever. Getting all those atmospheric sounds, full character VO, full musical score, that's a lot to get into a game that works in a browser. And that's where the final huge leap forward comes in, the technology behind the sound. For the first time, we're installing servers dedicated to RuneScape sound. That means full CD quality music and sound stream directly to you through your browser. With no performance impact on the game, and as we're no longer using MIDI, it means RuneScape's audio really has no boundaries. And with the Six Age coming, we, we can't wait to bring it to you.
If you'd like to know more about RuneScape Sound, then you can talk to Mod Lord directly in an Ask Me Almost Anything on Reddit on Thursday the 16th of May at 6pm BST. There's more RuneScape 3 news next week and on Friday, Behind the Scenes is back with agricultural news for pro farmers. Ooh, and indeed, are.